and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Arcade Tokens Podcast. Yeah. This is Will Farrow. Yeah. I'm Patrick Cloud. Ha! And welcome to the second episode. Today's game, we are playing Batman Arkham Knight. Is that it? Is that what it's called? I don't know. I, I knew I was going to fuck up the end part. I fuck up a lot of games now for some reason. Batman Arkham Knight. Oh, I got it right! Hey! I should yeah. be more confident in myself. Did you beat this game? I have beaten this game. Um, no, you know what? You know what? I take that back. I have not beaten this game because I. if you've played the Batman series, if you have not beaten the Riddler, you have not beaten this game. Those are tough, though. There's they a million are. of those. They are. So I feel like once you do that, you've beaten the game. Okay, I feel that. I really want to get that clear. So this is the third in the in the series, right? I don't believe so. They've had like a couple like the prequels, like the Batman Arkham Origins, the one that had like Deathstroke in there. And okay. so um, I want to say this is the sixth installment. But in terms of this style, I thought it was the first one, then Arkham Asylum, then this. No, then it was Arkham City. And then there was Arkham Origins, and then was this Asylum one. the first one? Asylum, yeah, Arkham when he was on the island, that was the first one. Okay, and then it was when the Asylum broke out. Yeah, and then it was this one. No, no, then it became they took uh, the old Gotham and they made it into a uh, a city for Arkham to have everybody in there. That was the third one. That was the second one. So that was then there was. That's what I'm saying. The first one was within the prison. Yeah, when they were on the island, and then the second one was when the prisoners got out. Yeah, and they were in the city, and then the third one is this one. Yeah. So, okay, so yeah, as a trilogy, back to the yeah. back to the first thing. This is the third in the installment. I feel like this style changed gaming. Yes, like even the new Spider-Man, the fight, the the fight system is like yes. identical to this, and this it's is, like my favorite. Yeah, I mean these two games, like Batman and Spider-Man, you literally get to be these characters, mm -hmm. and hands down, two of the most popular characters in both of their respective, you know, comic book places. The only other game that was good at fighting groups of people before this, to me, was uh, Assassin's Creed. Yes. And then this came out, and it kind of blew my mind. Like, the whole, like, he was giving hands. Like, hands. Usually, when you fight big groups of people, it's kind of, it's like, it's kitschy, you know? Like, yeah. there's big swipes, there's colors, you know, like, there's big moves and stuff like this. But he was, like, giving movie-level fight Action. scenes. Beating all these niggas, and then you see the little sense buttons, and, like, he, it, this shit was dope. And right. now you, you see, like, even Spider-Man today, like, it is now, like, the standard. Like, yeah. I love seeing yeah. new standards being birthed. Because it's so universal. I be randomly sending like mad emojis to everybody that like post Spider Man footage because I don't have a PlayStation, Ooh. so I can't enjoy it. Bro, so I be hating. It is literally ruining my life right now. I can imagine. It's ruining my life and I ain't even got it. <laughs> Alright, what we uh what we got I'm first? So, yes, you're first. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you the honor to play on Xbox. It's not really an honor for you, at least because you PlayStation. But you can enjoy it. So you can start a new one. And we're just going to be doing, like, kind of the beginning part as we're talking, you know, as the podcast ends, wherever we leave off. We just hope you enjoy the gameplay. So, Batman. Uh, Arkham Knight. Safe to say, the purest form of white privilege ever. That's his superpower. Yes. White privilege. Yes. Parents were rich. It's dumb rich. Oh, like, yeah, no, like, like infinitely rich like these people were wealthy to the point where he can get a vigilante suit with a belt that contained everything that you needed in your current situation yes that's like if we had like a internet views gadget like right now like it made no sense why you okay so okay so we we, we didn't get the luxury of starting yeah. the beginning, beginning. So should we, we go back yes we, we should go back we should go back i feel like you should get the full experience of this. So let me see this. Let me go ahead and just set you up with a new one. Um, you know, his utility belt even had a raft in it that he could pull it out. Like, just no one knows why, but it was there. Uh, I feel like Batman, of all the shit that he learned how to do, swimming should have been one of them. Yeah, yeah. Because even Spider Man can swim. 
Can he? Yeah. Did you jump All in the water? All the spiders I've come across did not do well in water. I mean, I would not saying they were Michael Phelps, but I drowned more more spiders than I murdered. I know that like drowning is a form of murdering, but you know, you know what? I feel like when I turn the water on, the water murders it, and I feel like that keeps so my conscience clear. So you just an accomplice, clear. is what you're saying? Keeps my conscience clear. Because you can still go to jail for that if, like, killing insects was Can't. illegal. Mine's clear. This is true. The water did, the water got a little bit. So I'm press continue. continue. Uh, oh, um, I gotta go fast. You gotta actually, you can actually go back, back. So you went back. Yeah, I'm glad I go back there. What difficulty would you like? Normal. Hey, normal? I'm not. I ain't the same, brother. Put subtitles on, though, because I fuck with subtitles. I do, too. Most people fuck with subtitles. Even when I'm not playing a video game, if it's like Netflix or something, I'll put the subtitles. I'll just throw them on because like, it's 50% I can't hear that well. 50% like I... I could watch a whole scene and not know what happened because I'd be paying attention to stuff like the shots and stuff. Like, yeah, that's... And people get so annoyed because I'll be like, what happened? And they'll be like, what were you thinking about? Like, were you even watching it? And I was like, yeah, I was just watching other stuff. Yeah, it's sad when you kind of work in production so you can see things that be like misplaced. It's like misplaced. Sometimes I'll just be like liking how they shot it or just noticing how they shot it. But I'll notice that like they'll jump a scene and like the cup on the table ain't there no more. The cup is back. In games? The cup is gone. Huh. It happens a lot. No, just the TV shows. It happens a lot? Yeah, it happens a lot. I was about to say, if you can't keep up continuity in a video game... Nah, you're you doing yourself. something wrong. You're doing something wrong. I mean, they were kind of in the old days. Like, oh shit. Party go. You know, like when you had the gun like this, just... Oh, the 007? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, we can do better than this. Oh, we gotta play 007 on this. Oh, yeah. So we're first starting off in case for those that haven't played the game yet for some odd reason um, in the previous game Joker is dead and gone and he is being incinerated right now and It's funny that Pat said, you know, he has a clear conscience about the water killing the spider because you got to burn Joker alive I mean, well, he's dead, so not alive, but you got to burn him It's the perfect time for you to hit that lead. Oh, are we at game point? Yeah. Oh, I had to physically burn yeah. this nigga a lot. That's fucked up. Yeah. I had to press the button. <laughs> yeah, he did. Wow, they really made me involved with this. Yeah. That could have easily been a cutscene. Wow, just to show the fucking cat. Just to show the title. Just to show the bat symbol! They done scarred me alive. You are the Batman now. I am a murderer. Let me ask you, would you, would you want to be Batman? Hell no, I wouldn't want to be no superhero. That shit's so much time. I feel like it's such a responsibility. Spider-Man is broke. I right? Just, I just played the scene in his game where he came home to an eviction notice. I'm like, nigga, you a superhero and you broke? I just don't understand why superheroes can't be just put on payroll. Actually, you know what? It's you funny. You away your, your identity. Fuck that. That's not Civil War. Fuck that. But I will say this, though. I had a dope idea. So, you know like how in Avengers, they pretty much destroyed New York, right? When they invaded. Like, I want to make a show based off of the people who have to clean all that shit up. But it's like a comic. There's a game called Visceral something, and you have to clean up fights in other games. So you're a cleanup team. It's pretty cool. I want to. I'm gonna have to play that. I put it on our list actually for arcade tokens. Let's do it. So yeah, right now we're uh, in the diner. We're doing a, a dope POV scene. Um, I don't know what you just did. You're just looking at cleavage. Um, it's hit me. So, there we go. There we go. That's a thin officer. Chicken salad with no dressing. What kind of fucking ass nigga is this? Yeah, waffles with bacon, nigga. You are definitely not gonna fuck. Yeah, she not even calling you by your your first name. Well, she said don't tell my wife, so he's trying to fuck. And he trying to fuck. Every cop trying to fuck a waitress. That's just facts. All right. Yeah. 
smoke. I remember when you could smoke in restaurants. You remember? Yeah. You're not that old. I remember that though. Like my dad, we would go to Red Lobster and they would go, do you want smoking or non-smoking? And we would always be in the smoking area. They weren't doing this though. <laughs> they definitely wasn't smoking like that. Oh shit. What? This nigga was at a diner being calm? What? Yeah, man. Oh, and now it's a full on zombie apocalypse in here? Yeah, man. Oh, is this. A, am I tripping? You are tripping balls, man. You're having a bad trip, as y'all can see. He's having a bad trip, man. Oh, shit. Pull your firearm. I shouldn't have do, put... do what the cops do nowadays. I shouldn't have put ecstasy in my coffee. He's resisting. He's resisting. You are out of bullets. You used all your bullets. You would not be reliable in a zombie apocalypse with guns. Clearly. You got attacked by one person. And you shot everything. I think that was supposed to happen. That was not supposed to happen. You could have shot them. I was supposed to die though. <laughs> oh man, it's scary, bro. Like I just sit and really wonder, like, what, what did you do? What happened to you to make you do that? The scarecrow. Yeah, the scarecrow. He administers the gas drugs, right? Yeah. He doesn't take them. Right? Nah, nah. Well, I don't know what he do. Honestly. I feel like he might take them, skim a little off the top. He might. That nigga says 6.3 million people in one city. So what's interesting about Batman is everybody loves Batman. Everybody thinks that he's like the Chuck Norris of life. Like the Batman of X, you know what I mean? Like whatever. What Marvel... What Marvel superhero, and then what DC superhero do you think could give Batman not only a run for his money, but the hands? Ooh, the hands? Okay. In DC, the person I'm going to say that would give Batman the hands and a run for his money? Oh. Um. I'm gonna go with uh I can't I don't wanna mess up his name. Uh Lobo. Who's that? The motorcycle dude. He's, so he's sorta of like that. He's a DC version of that. What about it? Like I think he would give Batman the hands. Why? Because he's just fucking crazy. How so? Support your argument, sir. See, the problem is I don't fully sit with that argument. Batman's a tough motherfucker, man. You know what? My first my first thing would be Flash. But I know there was a comic book where he literally slowed down Flash's metabolism. Yeah. Just to make sure that this nigga couldn't move as fast. And see, that's what I'm thinking about everybody out of the Justice League. Because if you see Justice, uh, Justice League Doomsday, he created a whole Doomsday pack that on how to beat the Justice League. Hey, all of them. So all you can them. eliminate all the Justice League from this answer. Look at your boy flying. And they said the only way you could beat him is the whole Justice League gotta come after I feel like Silver Surfer could easily beat him because, I mean, he's a human. True. Silver Silver Surfer is low-key like, you know how like the Avengers deal with big level shit like the whole Earth is under attack and then whoever they, they defeat them and then like I don't know the Luke Cage and all of them defeat the like they just beat the like low level criminals like the purse snatchers and stuff like that but yeah. then it's like the crime they're, they're like that's, that's cute but the yeah. Avengers are like yeah the whole Earth you got a one neighborhood in, in you got the try you got the hand the triads nigga we got a fucking alien race we had to take care of but then silver surfer is beating niggas that are like the whole universe is at stake 
and the people who I let go, the Avengers have to take care of. And he's like feeding Galactus planets. Yeah, he's like on a planetary level. Like this thing yeah. does not get enough shine at all. Yeah, I say for Marvel though, I choose Deadpool. I think Deadpool will get better. Deadpool. Yeah. Why? Because Deadpool can't die. Batman can try what he wants, but Deadpool cannot die. Yeah, but I feel like Batman can could, fight. Batman is so smart, and Deadpool is just kind of like Deadpool is smart. He is, but it's like, once Batman gets him, I feel like he would just keep his alive whatever, however he wanted it to for X amount of time, like, I don't know. He just doesn't seem like a, a, a worthy opponent. I feel like to be Batman, you have to be like, obviously crazy better, like Thor or something. I, I, okay, I will say, I don't see, I don't see them, I don't see a reason for them to have to square off, if that makes sense. Ooh. Like, uh, Batman and Deadpool. I will, I will agree with you on that. I feel like I don't see them, no reason for their paths to cross, ever. It's not even that, it's just like, Batman I just feel like is smarter. So I honestly feel like, I mean, if but Batman figured out who Deadpool was and like, that he couldn't die, he would find a way to just like, keep him contained in some type of way forever. I mean, but Tony is smart, and Deadpool will kill Tony. I do that. How you know that? Tony Stark? Hell yeah. How you know? I just have no faith in Tony Stark whatsoever. Why? I don't know. I've just never been a fan of Iron Man. No one was until Robert Downey Jr. Me. That's the only. That's the only good reason, though. Now that's it. Also, what the, what the hell am I doing? I have no idea what you're doing. You're supposed to be following the green square at the top. Do you see? Oh. You're in the right direction. So you see, you got 176. See, you're supposed to go up there to Gotham GCPD. This is a big ass prison, like a police station. This ain't even a prison. This is like you can turn station. around, turn around, turn around to the left. That's the police station. In Gotham, BB? Yeah. Yeah, because it's the worst city on Earth. I don't see how... That's another thing that we were talking about. Like, these superhero cities, like, I don't understand why these citizens stay here. It's like, all it's they terrible. Know. It's all they know, though. And it's also, like, I know that Gotham is, like, a adaptation or, like, a, a it's supposed to be based on New York, right? Oh, I'm a mixture. It's supposed to be, like, New York, Pittsburgh... Chicago, Detroit, and Philadelphia, like all rolled into one. Oh, really? Yeah. So it's just all the crime in the world? <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much. And it goes down in Gotham. But yeah, I don't, I, I guess it's a big ass police station, man. <laughs> like, if y'all go watch this, this is a big ass police station. Like, ridiculously huge. For no reason whatsoever. You gotta go at the top, bro. Okay. Yeah. It's pointed up. Can you just drop down from there? You Batman. You don't go through the front door. That's true. Sometimes he does. Sometimes. Just don't well, go off. That's not true. Maybe just, maybe Bruce Wayne. I feel like when he do know, the door be open already and he just standing there. So you like you don't know if he used the door. He's, he's Batman the door. is very sneaky. Yeah. The way he can get out of this whole room just by you looking over here for a second is like like talent I still need him to explain. Like there just needs to be a video of Batman explaining how he does that. I feel like for dummies. I feel like he know your move, what you about to do. And so like where your vit where your hearing is gonna be directed to as well. Cause you know like the you know like how they say sound sound travels in a certain way. Right. So it's like hearing is kind of the same thing too. Like if you're talking directly here, I can hear this, uh -huh. but I might not hear over here. Okay. So he may use that to his advantage to be able to escape. Because he is and the fact that he's a freaking ninja. Do you think he could beat Spider Man? 
Um, that's a that's actually that is the debate right there. If we're gonna be honest, I think I don't think no one has ever really had that debate. People underestimate how smart Spider Man yeah. is. He's definitely not Batman level smart, which is why probably people would automatically say Batman. Actually, Spider Man is smarter than Batman because he is a scientist. Yeah, he's actually smarter than Batman. So, Batman, he's the poor Batman. Which, in my opinion, is more creative. Right. Especially the shit that he makes from the trash. Because, like, even in the game he, I was in right now, he took a police taser and made electric web. And Batman just buys electric web. Lucius <laughs> Fox makes all his shit. Lucius? Lucius Fox. Yes, he's black. Fucking great name. Oh, yeah, I know. <clears throat> That's why Morgan Freeman played him. You know, niggas, uh... <coughs> that making gadgets for Batman that ain't named Lucius. It wouldn't be like a Jamal Smith. Nah, not at all. That nigga worked downstairs. I'm just gonna creep ever so slightly off this uh all this bridge because it seems safe to do it. Yeah, you know, you just being the Batman. It's all good. But yeah, I, I just feel like what were we talking about? Oh no. But yeah, oh, Spider Man versus Batman. Yes. I'm not gonna lie, bro. This is a this is a it's a debate. Yeah, we got a lot of great pros and cons. Spider Man is my all time favorite superhero, and it's because um, <clears throat> I'm not proud of this, but when I was a kid, I was afraid of lawn gnomes. I can understand that for a very long time into my, into adulthood, actually, and uh, I just saw a. a cartoon of him beating up a lawn gnome, which was later Green Goblin. And uh, ever since then, he's been my champion. That is the ultimate lawn gnome, though. If we, if we just go be honest. That is the ultimate. You see lawn gnomes. We're going to put a lawn gnome right here, right by Patrick. You see him, yeah. I liked him even before I knew like he was going to start. I felt like, Woo! I don't know if it's just me, but... I felt like I was there <coughs> when Spider-Man started getting new suits. <coughs> like, it hadn't been thought of yet. It was just like, you know, his regular Spider-Man suit. But, like, it wasn't until, like, the 90s he started getting new suits. So, I hate to keep shitting on Batman like this, but this new Spider-Man game, Nick, there's so many new suits available. Bro. You can just Bro. be anything. And it's kind of hard to play this after playing Spider-Man because he's just, like, fighting as a regular human, but... Spider Man, you get to web kick people. And yeah, I feel up like over to him, like nigga, woo. I feel like Batman would have been a lot better if we had all his gadgets. Like you get to unlock everything. Woo! Like I want to fly around in the X wing. Who the fuck did that? Or the Bat wing, I mean. But I do, I do give credit to Batman. Like he's just fighting in a gutter ass place, like. Yeah. A place that's literally like you should give up, like folks from Compton would be like, damn a nigga like, yo. Compton's not that bad anymore. Gotham is usually a city where you just be like, alright, let that be a shithole, like Yeah, like you let, leave there, yeah. You let, don't go there. Let crime just overrun. Like yeah. Batman's yeah. still out here in the in the trenches. Yeah. Oh shit, I'm in the Batmobile now. You are you are wrecking everything. You are destroying the property damage right now. Destroying property damage? Yeah. Like your the amount of it is what you destroy. Woo! Yeah. Yeah, you can shoot them things, everything. Just imagine like you are prepared to be up all night doing this. That's what I'm saying. And how do how do you how do you even get something like this up and running without alerting the police? That's what I don't understand. But like the police there and can't do nothing. But I ain't gonna lie, like the storyline of this game, I feel like that could really not not like to this extent, oh, but maybe it. it could really happen. Cause like they just invaded. Like they were here, they just came, they shut everything down. Uh, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <gasps> yeah, yeah, nigga. Cool. Go on, Terry Yeah, what's up? Yeah, he heard us. He heard us. What's happening? Oh, you're upset. That's right. Okay, I'm gonna pass the sticks to you. For sure. 
Yeah, I hope that shit hurt, you weak ass nigga. <laughs> that was threatening. Where is he? He did say it Batman style. Where is he? Where is he? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Hold on. Hold on. Y'all have to see this. Uh-oh. What's he about to do? Ooh. Oh, the, the, What'd he break? The arm. The whole arm? Yeah. He snapped this out. It's intense, Batman. You'd have to do that to my nigga. I forgot, you know, like in the comics, he was he was about that life. I really like the Flashpoint Paradox, where Flash goes into another uh, reality, yeah. where his dad is Batman. Yeah, Thomas Wayne. Yeah. and he kills oh, yeah. people with guns. Oh yeah. See, they said that was supposed to, that was supposed to be a live action one for Flash. That'd be great. Why didn't that happen? Well, man, you know, Batman's gone down. Uh, oh, don't say I didn't even see. No, 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 I'm talking about they dropped out. Like, Ben Affleck is not being Batman. Why not? Uh, actually, I don't know. I said I haven't seen Avengers like he was in Avengers. <laughs> I mean, I got what you mean. Because you haven't seen Avengers either. I haven't seen Justice League or, or anything. Or, uh, what's it called? What was the other thing that Batman was in? Uh, Suicide Squad? Yep, I, I just haven't seen all of them, so I don't know what's been going on in the universe. I feel like these are things you should not be missing out on. Yeah. Especially having this type of show. Yeah. There's so many references you're not going to understand. Yes. You're going to have to work on them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I will ask this, though. Spider-Man or Batman, we still haven't made this decision. Cause I know the people gonna wanna know. And they gonna flood the comments and be like, yo, why y'all didn't answer this? I feel like if he was in the Batmobile, how would Spider-Man get him? I mean, Spider-Man can pick up the Batmobile. But what can he do? Just throw it? You'd be surprised what throwing a Batmobile would do. And he can web it up too. Yeah, I remember like he got different styles of webs and stuff, and we ain't even we don't we haven't even selected which Spider-Man we talking about. Like, what suit he got against Batman? Because even though Batman be having different suits, they be kind of like the same thing. It just be like a different design. Spider-Man though, all his shit be different. Got different gadgets and stuff like that. I don't know. So does Batman though. Do they? Every episode. This nigga will fall in a ditch and he'll be like, alright, luckily in my, my, my bat belt, I got a ditch ditch. That's the bat belt, though. Hmm. Spider-Man got the whole suit different. Like, the bat belt, that's just like, that's where the power from. I noticed that. People, I, I remember people used to get real mad about, man, why they always talk about that damn utility belt? And I was like, you know what? Yeah, just make a lot of sense. Powers. That's where his power's at. Like, yeah. he got oh, hands. no, well, his powers is his bank account, low-key. True. That's his real superpower. I just know that white privilege. Oh, uh, if y'all make another Batman, please, please, do not put a Batman credit card in the movie. What you mean? Do you not remember Batman and Robin? They had a credit card. Yeah, like Poison Ivy had these niggas hypnotized off that shit, and they were bid to go out on a date with her for charity, of course. These motherfuckers was betting you big money in the million range. This nigga pulled out a Batman card. Oh, wow. Instead of a black card? I do not With remember. With the Batman that. symbol. I was like, yo. Thank God I don't remember that. Jesus. This is the same Batman where they had nipples on their suits. Yes, that's why I didn't watch that. I didn't. I would freeze to see a movie with that as the case. Yeah. Yeah. Some things you should just miss out on. Like, I, I just recently, you know, told people I haven't seen the Goonies. It did not go well. It's not my fault, though. It's not my fault, okay? That's one of them. It's not my fault. I feel like I, I just thought of something that gave made me less black. I don't know how to play spades. 
I don't either. So I always felt like a little less black for that. I do too. Just, whatever. But you know what though? I know how to play. Uh, have you ever played Thirteen? They call it something else. I think it's called Deuces. A lot of Asian play. I know how to play that, so I kind of feel like I'm okay. And Mahjong. Have you ever played Mahjong? Kind of, but I've heard of it for sure. Filipino dominoes. Yeah, I've for sure seen that before. Yeah, that is the shit. I've watched old Filipino people play that. Like the ones that be quiet and shit, never really the same. That motherfuckers come to life. What they be talking about? They be straight cussing in their native language. I don't, I don't even be knowing what half that shit is. But I be, cause I be in the back, you know, eating food and shit like that. That's why, you know, this look like this one. Right Filipino got good food, and they never let you leave without a plate. It's an insult. Like you got, you got to go home with a plate. That's love, though. That's how yeah. a lot of people just be showing love, though. Yeah. And they be feeding the shit out your kids. It be like some old Hansel and Gretel shit. <laughs> they be like, yo, no, 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 no. Does he, does he want you? You want some cookies? <laughs> Do you want some cookies? Don't be going to get some cookies? No, 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 no. It's okay. <laughs> and then you look like the asshole if you say no now. It's like. That, that, it be like that sometimes. It be like that. Even with drinking, they be like. Oh, you don't want to drink with me like that? I'm offended. And you're just like, no, I'm just drunk. Right. I'm, I'm already wasted. <laughs> you got here late. That's not my fault. <laughs> oh, look like, speaking of which, Batman's about to get some. Yeah, man. I feel like they just, just make Poison Ivy naked. Ooh. They always, like, she be out here half naked. Like, just, just make her full naked. We get it. She got leaves growing off of her teeth. She dirty. Yeah, I feel by far this is the most realistic poison ivy. Yeah, they they usually make her extra. Yeah, I know she felt some type of way. Thought she really got away with this shit. He was standing in front of her. What? He just got he just got out the plant. Or <laughs> yeah. They get some tank. and they see you. Can you just imagine that rolling up on you? Like the calm you have to have. Be Batman, you probably been way worse than this. I went to the Harry Potter world and I was, you know, just a little bit taken back because I couldn't go explore Hogwarts. What do you mean? Like, you know, it was just the ride. You know, they got a store uh, and yeah. then it's the ride. I'm like, well, Where's where's Griffin doing? Where's the Slytherin house? I actually went there. Uh, another disappointing fact, you can't enroll. I brought my whole, like my GPA, all my college papers, like, I tried to enroll and the, the person was acting like they just worked there for like, part time, you know what I mean? It was really, it just shows us where education has gotten us, you know? Yeah. It's kind of, it's kind of messed up. That is. And the butterbeer is trash. It is well. You know what? The frozen one ain't, but like the drink, drink trash. Well, it's frozen beer, butter beer. That's disgusting. No, nah, it actually. Talking about the dough. No, nah, when it's like a, uh, it's almost like an icy. And it's butter beer or it's yeah. just pineapple. No, nah, it's butter beer. I don't know how I feel. That one, that one tasted way there's better. Other, than there's other, other delicious uh, Disneyland treats that you can get that are frozen instead. Yeah. Even at Universal, I will say at Universal though, that Homer Simpson donut was quite a treat. I didn't eat the whole thing. Like my, my homie uh Bob Digital wanted to get it. I had a piece but I was like, you know what? I see it was a Homer Simpson donut? Yeah. What kind of donut it was it? The the one with the pink and sprinkles on it. Yeah, I know that, but like what kind of actual donut was it? Was it like vanilla or was it chocolate? No, nah, it was a uh, glazed donut. Mm -hmm. Really? That's yeah. what Homer's been eating this whole time? Homer's been eating glazed donuts, y'all. Which is pink frosting. With pink frosting and sprinkles. I respect that. I really do. I do. But yeah, I, I mean, all in all, like, it's a different experience. So, to a lot of my folks back home, mainly in the southern part, uh, don't feel disappointed. Because I just felt some kind of way waiting two hours to go sit down and watch a movie. Which is kind of what it is. As you should. Like, I was like, is this it? 
I ain't gonna lie though, I did enjoy that Minions ride. And The Walking Dead too. Oh yeah, just to let y'all know, uh, as far as zombies go, uh, I ain't shit. I went with my friends and like the zombies pop out while you walking through. Mm -hmm. I threw that nigga right in front of one and took off. I believe this. I totally believe this. Here's my reason why though. It wasn't just to just do it. Go for it. He walks hella slow. Even in hostile situations. Okay. Even when he speed up, it's still slow. So either I was going to run over him, and then I was going to fall too, and then now we both fuck, or I could throw him to the zombie, let him defend himself, and then we could both still get away. seems like that second one's a bad idea. All, I mean, all in all. If you're friends, you know. All in all, though, the moral of the story is, you shouldn't be going into an abandoned hospital with zombies. Is right? that the moral of the story? Yes. And just don't stand in front of me. That was, the, that was really the moral of your story. <laughs> yeah, just stand on the side. I feel like it was more about that. I will protect you if you stay on the side of me. Now, if you want to be in the front, your chances are limited. So what on earth are you doing right now? I don't get it. Right now, I'm blowing up tanks because it's there's... It's Batman-ish. It is very not Batman-ish. This is some shit Iron Man would do in this the suit. Very, this, is sound, this seems like a scene out of Iron Man. Here's a question. Iron Man is a video game. He had a video game on the Nintendo that was decent. It was decent. Yeah, and I feel like they could find a way to make him like his mixture of walking and flying. I feel like they could make a dope game, but it doesn't exist right now. And suit upgrades, especially as many as he makes, DLC packs would be crazy. That's true. Damn. It'd be dope to see like DC versus Marvel, but like Smash Bros. style. I think that would be dope. Just like they're like little characters that, that jump super high and like zoomed out in the video I, game. I'd like to see them though dressed up as today. Like today, how they haven't been in a live action. So only live action video games? No, no, no. Well, like, like uh, uh, Marvel superheroes and DC videos? Yeah, I like to see that. I think that'd be dope. That's how they market them, anyways. Yeah. If that did go through. Right. I like it. Yeah. I like that in the Iron Man game. Who else could you see that could, as uh, far as Marvel and DC, could get a video game? Especially like something that's to the world of like Batman and Spider Man. Where out? Like a matchup? Or just like could be next in line to get a game like this? Like we see Iron Man could do it. Spider-Man and Batman killing it. Like who do you think could also get away with doing this? I feel like Doctor Strange could have a dope ass game if they made it like Mario Galaxy. Where like the percep the perception uh the perspective changes. You know yeah. what I mean? Like on the ceiling all of a sudden or like you're going like you know what I mean? Like the POV changes a whole bunch. Like I feel like if they did it that way on some like high stuff, which really Mario's games are usually you know, they usually also like high shit. Yeah. yeah. Um, other than that I always thought it'd be dope if Ryu had his own game, or like somebody from Street Fighter broke loose and had like more of a like, I can see their like paragraph backstory, you know what I mean? I can see that. We've uh, talked about that before. Who could you see in DC? <laughs> did you just pass out? I did. Well, guys, um, high as hell. High as What's hell. going on in this in this in this level? We're still destroying. We're, we I, I'm been Batman in a while. I'm kind of like tired of destroying tanks. I'm kind of wanting this to be over. <laughs> it's like <laughs> Batman is, has gone into like Lego mode. Like what? Right. What happened? Actually, I'm just. 
was, it was so much more fun when he was zipping around the city. Right, but it's like calibrating his Batmobile to take these things out. So, but you've been doing it for so long. Right. Or maybe we haven't. We just high as hell, so we think we've been doing it for a long time. We are pretty high. It's also very hot. It is. It is. Maybe that's why the time is going yeah. on. So why aren't lights cool? Well, thank you so much for watching another episode of Arcade Tokens. If you like the video, please share it with your friends and sh and uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to all of that. Oh yeah, and be sure to check out the audio version on Apple uh, Podcasts. I always fuck that up for some reason. Uh, Spotify. We are high on drugs. We are. We are. I, we. Uh, we. Folks, not. Oh, yeah. <laughs>